Today in OS operating system, we're gonna take a first look into the two OS from Ubuntu 23.10 distribution flavor called the Bungie and the Unity. Is this gonna be the best for newcomer to Linux or it's gonna be hard a little bit to the newcomers? I haven't tried this yet for this 2023 release on April, so this October release this is gonna be my first and observe as we experience the very first time. This is Blair, your science teacher. Let's begin our first look into Ubuntu Bungie and Unity 23.10, the October release. Let's begin our OS operating system. First into our two Ubuntu distro flavors is the Bungie Linux distro OS. So let's create our budgie right here. We make it like eight gigabytes and 30 gigabytes of storage, the virtual hard disk. Let's full screen this one. So let's click this. So we are now in our welcome page in Ubuntu Bungie. Choose an option to discover a new operating system. See the introduction first and let's full screen this one at the same time. Uh, let me see. So the operating system is a core running through your computer similar to the Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac OS and the Google Chrome. Bungie is a distribution or variation of the GNU Linux operating system. It is a dependable, secure, capable and modern computer that rivals all other popular and actual use. Unlike the operating system, Linux is a major one used in the most world fastest and most powerful supercomputers, which is true. At the same time, many of us, the computer that makes up the backbone of the internet, yes, the internet is running in Linux and on the corporate server that requires in reliability is actually running in Linux. Yes, the world is running in Linux. Even your cell phones are Linux. Even your tablets are Linux. So Bungie is one of our distro that is easy to use in OS that is configure to the desktop environment and deals with those who are the most out of their computers and perform the uh, preferred traditional desktop metaphor and the modest hardware requirement is suitable for modern desktop and laptops alike which is also i'm using for my daily driver is the big Linux OS. Right now it's running at the back of this virtual boxes, which is also we are opening the Bungie Linux. So the Bungie Linux provides with the freedom to run complete full feature operating system and pre-configure out of most out of it. Application will be needed for your daily computing and at the same time change anything that you like and looks and works and application runs to suit your taste yes this is linux so we have the choice to make our operating system beautiful workable and at the same time application that runs that suits your taste not like microsoft that you are just limited in their ecosystem including the preparatory unix operating system the apple mac os but of course the android and the google's chrome os is actually linux but heavily modified based on the Gen 2 Linux operating system desktop environment. So the objectives of this Bungie Linux is accessibility to all regardless 
to any of the languages and physical abilities increase both Ubuntu and Bungie desktop user adaptation and create the Ubuntu based distro for user who prefer the traditional desktop metaphor. So we also have right here in the upper top area we have the uh, start button which is all the application in the center of our taskbar right here we also have the time even though we have time right here in the widget on the lower corner at the same time we have our notification area so let's try to click this one so we have the quick notes right here the desk workspace we also have the folders we also have the notification widgets and so on what's this we also have the oh the internet connection which is the the LAN which is the wired LAN that is the volume control and the power yes we have the power locked lag out suspend we also have the reboot right here and hibernation and shut down and the last one is the calendar so let's try to see with their website first so as you can see this is the desktop of the ubuntu but because we are exploring Bungie right here let's go on the lower corner and click the ubuntu Bungie. So the website is ubuntubungie.org. So we have the information right here, easy to use, up to date and powerful at the same time all the information that you need about the operating system on your journey to start here with the Bungie welcome page. So how to download? Just click download or get started. So you have all the options right here. Either you have the option of the 22.04, which is the April of 2022. But this is the long-term release. Let's go to the latest, which is the Bungie 23.10. It is a standard release and support from October 2023 to July 2024 so click the download and then so wait until it will uh, finish downloading so as you can see it is Ubuntu Bungie 23.10.1 desktop for AMD and 64 Intel processor ISO or image file and then after that you have to go to a Belena etcher click the Belena etcher and then download the Belena etcher so you have the Windows Mac and Linux so because I'm using the Linux so I just gonna click this one so let's wait for all of this to download it is an application or app image and the other one is the ISO image file so as you can see we are now in our Belena Etcher and let's look for the file of the ISO of the Ubuntu Bungie let's open that one and then click that one so we have this and then select your target insert a USB and then click flash and it will just finish as it will inform you and then unplug it and then turn off your computer and shut down it after that when you turn on your computer don't forget to restart your computer and then click F1 or F2 and then select the USB option for the option to start with your USB to boot then just click and it will start as like this but it doesn't yet 
uh, installed so that is why you will see this one as the in as it will inform you that it is not yet installed like this one so you have to install it or just leave it as it is let's try to see the appearance and the uh, settings of this operating system so let's try to open our start menu and go to the desktop settings so we have this we have the style icons widgets a cursor not notification position top right yes it is top right right there I'm just gonna leave it there on the top uh, left I want not you move it now built-in theme that is enable and disable override the display and at the same time the desktop components styling animation is turned on right now so I'm just gonna leave it there at the same time we have the desktop icons mounts active mounts home directory if we wanted to let's turn on the home directory okay let's close this one let's try to see the background our wallpaper so we have this wallpaper so many cool so we have a lot right here even a cute meowing cat <laughs> we also have some artistic shots right here uh, this is graphically beautiful how about this one the moon the view from the moon towards the earth how about the Saturn digitally enhanced at the same time this is the Milky Way this is some graphics oh a paper frog how about the lumps yes cool okay the bar the, the boat how about this one it sparks of interest kind of cool right so this is the bungee operating system hmm, let me see if I could use this one or this one okay so let's go to our notification we turn on our notification for the snap packages software uh, at the same time our system information right here Bluetooth not yet turned on the network is our LAN which is wired right now we don't have any connection via the Wi-Fi right now so we have the volume control right here we have over mode over amplify we also have the microphone right here as you can see whenever I talk it has indication of the volume control but of course I just make it a minimum volume that is why a little bit like two bars three bars four bars away or five bars six but is is not as noisy as I am <laughs> We also have the alert sound, which is none right now. Let's bark. The drip. We also have the glass and the sonar. Power control. We have balance right now. Power saver if you want to extend your performance of your computer. If it is not working for five minutes it will shut down the screen it will suspend the display let's go to the display we have the orientation which is now on our landscape and it is on 1080 with the widescreen which is the 16 by 9 so the mouse and touchpad right here keyboards printer and all those stuff even our language right here user which is the live user right now time and date default application and of course the last one is our bungee 
information of our computer, which is the Bungie Linux, or the device name is Ubuntu Bungie, with 8 gigabytes of random access memory. The processor is AMD Ryzen 7 with 5700U with Ryzen graphics at 16. We also have the graphic rendering right now, which is based on our hardware. The disk space is 32 gigabytes of disk space. The Bungie version is 10.8 which is the OS name of the Ubuntu 23.10 and it is 64-bit OS type. The windowing system is x11 xorg. It is running in kernel 6.5.0-9 in generic Linux. So let's go to the application. What kind of application that we have? We have the game right here 1048 additional advanced uh, management changing of your computer configuration your games right here of Saltair and at the same time we have the viewers right here of course the bungee control extras bungee hot corners layouts uh, pi bungee screenshot a welcome page of course we have the documents right here plus the install release the uh, characters for the uh, fonts document scanner drawing right here Firefox font viewers G parted partition editor manager we have the video viewer at the same time the good vibes for the radio web uh, and calculator I forgot to calculator we also have the language support and the LibreOffice which is called draw impress math writer logins right here the lot of for your uh, music collection the simple screen magnifier which is the Magnus Mahjong at the same time if you want to play mines the parole media player the passwords and keys right here the plank uh, preference we have the power statistics uh, the preview control software software source software updater application startup Sudoku wow with uh, which is my favorite a uh, system monitor Thunderbird for your client um, email client the Tiling uh, terminal for genome at the same time, transmission at the same time, right here. We also have the last uh, on our top right here one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the fifth and the last, we have the controls of the windows, the podcast client, the G or the G thumbnailer, which is the image viewer, and the G edit for your text file editing. So I wonder about the software. So let's try to look into the software. So as you can see, we have the editor's choice right here. We have several right here, which is if you are using this one for your productivity, like the Telegram, uh, Fast Secure, Powerful Desktop, ma Messenger. At the same time, you have the Zoom uh, Cloud Meeting so i will not try to learn this one but let's try to the uh, installed right here let's see so if you want to uninstall this just click this one but of course it will not be like that i just wanted to let you see how to install and uninstall it update right here firefox need to update at the same time your bungee installer and the welcome page let's try to install this one update it while it is installing and updating let's just pause a little bit and wait for to hit 100 percent okay let's try to see to download the vlc player so how easy to install 
so we search in the search bar in the view finder and click the VLC we have also the a screenshot of the VLC so it is safe desktop only download size is 336.8 megabytes so we also have the screenshot and then let's try to install you have also the uh, the option for snap packages different snap packages they don't have any other but only snap packages which is this is Ubuntu uh, uh, distro so let's try to click that one installing at 10 percent 25 percent how about if we just look for another like the OBS OBS is a open broadcast software for the Linux but it is also open for all platform so that is why it is very important to support your open source application and operating system because it is also helping different platforms like the Apple Mac OS and the Microsoft Windows so let's minimize that one until it's finished because I think the internet is a little bit like slow. So conclusion for this uh, operating system for the Bungie operating system from Ubuntu Linux 23.1. It is easy. The learning curve is a little bit like easy. Uh, it is more on the Mac like which is we have the dock right here and it is not uh, so hard to install so basically it's okay so let's go to the other uh, operating system which is the ubuntu unity 23.1 so we are now in our welcome page of our ubuntu unity which has the shortcut keys of our launcher dash windowing switching and the menu bar so you can always visit that one and let's close this one so that we could explore the ubuntu bungee so we have this as their welcome page let's open the website first for the ubuntu unity okay let's go to ubuntu again so go to the lower left and go to the ubuntu unity website which is ubuntuunity.org so we have this information ubuntu unity is a flavor of ubuntu that featuring the unity 7 desktop environment as the default desktop environment using the ubuntu of 2010 to 2017 so you have the downloads option right here we have the ubuntu unity 22.04 the april release lts and the ubuntu unity 23.04 which is old stable and it is uh april of 2023 and the right now the latest that we are opening the file which is the 23.10 so just click this one it features a lot right here so we have the displays heads up plus the global menu which is right here on the left side why we should upgrade from 16.04 of course it is out of date and security holes can be exploited in the wild of the internet so how can you contribute to this operating system of course get started with getting the merge requests uh, from the github and at the same time you have the telegram group of the deskard server and the last one is the substantial uh, contribution and find yourself as a member of the team and help the team and debugging it 
So you have the GitLab, the GitHub, the Twitter X, the Discord, and of course they also have the Reddit. So let's try to see the appearance of this. So settings, is this settings? Yeah, this is settings. The appearance, let me see. Okay, so we have the wallpaper right here, which is uh, the uh, the default. Oh, we also have this one. Let's just move uh, this a little bit to see all the... Ooh, wow, okay, nice. Graphics, cool. All the graphics right here. Oh, awesome. All right. So there you have it. We have a lot of wallpaper to choose from and to select which one which which you preferred I like this one it's a little bit like the outdoors okay let me see hmm let's go back to all settings brightness locks uh, support of your language security and privacy text entry Bluetooth uh, color display let's go to the display first so I'm using the resolution of 1080 and a widescreen with 16 by 9 so we have also the details right here sharing software updates the time and date and universal access and so on so forth so this is the all settings so let's close this one so how about the application so we have uh, the same as the Ubuntu Bungie. So we also have all the solitaires right here, the games that we need. Do they have the 2048? Oh no, they don't have 2048. So anyway, let's uh, just uh, move along. So anyway, we have the brightness, the same type of application, the G part at the same time for the partition manager editor. Debbie package installer for the deb files which is very cool for that one we also have the language support right here of course we have the LibreOffice which is our calc draw impress math and writer our calc is for the spreadsheet the draw is for the publication the impress is for the slideshow the math is for the formulas and the writer is for the documents. So we also have some mind games right here. Mouse and touchpad, onboard, online accounts, the password and keys, your power statistics for your computer, the reboot, the access from the a remote desktop, we also have the screenshot right here, security, privacy, sharing. We also have the software update and the software application. We also have the Stacer, the startup or the bootable USB. Sudoku at the same time right here. They are using the Synaptic Software Manager for the software uh, installation and the software repositories. Uh, at the same time, they have the system settings, terminal, uh, Thunderbird, the email client, the time and date, the tweaks of the uh, tweaks tool of the Ubuntu Unity, the transmission for the downloadings, uh, and of course the VLC, and I think that's all. So let's try to see the Synaptic package. So let's try to maximize this one so we have already the VLC how about let's try to look for OBS all right so we have the OBS right here OBS studio 
so let's click this one apply mark let's mark it to install mark install and then apply and then click apply for changes and downloading of the packages file and then now it is installing so let's wait to reach 100 percent okay so it is open already so let's try to minimize this one so we have OBS right here so it is easy to so conclusion is it easy to use a little bit it's a little bit normal this is for the old timers in Ubuntu which is in 2017 the last version of this Ubuntu Unity way back in 2017 so it is uh, the learning curve for the uh, uh, old timers of the users of the Ubuntu it is much easy for them at the same time for the newcomer it's a little bit like hard because they didn't know which one is which and there is no minimize or maximize and the learning curve is a little bit like normal or maybe hard for them but it is depends on the users uh, interface on how to they interpret the desktop experience that they have this is not a like of a windows this is not also a mac like uh, desktop environment so this is basically the linux they you know the the original type of linux that they interpret on this one so it is easy to install a little bit yeah this is a little bit yeah normal so it is not too hard at the same time they have the deb package or the debby package installer right here so it is very easy to install some deb package at the same time it is easy to install it if you know how about to to use the synaptic package manager so based on this one ubuntu is a little bit okay for the normal people to explore like especially if they are uh, already using the samsung dex yes i'm referring to samsung dex because the samsung dex or samsung desktop experience is actually using the ubuntu uh, interface and or the genome desktop environment so it's a little bit like uh, uh, it's a little bit like okay for them uh, for the Mac users and the iPads probably they have to learn a little bit the learning curve is already okay uh, so I'm I'm also a Apple Mac and Apple iPad uh, user so it's basically it's a little bit like normal learning curve at the same time if you are from Windows a little bit like this is gonna be the a little bit hard for them so the notification right here and the upper left which is from Windows it is upper I know it is the lower left instead of upper including the time and date right here as you can see we have the time and date right here uh, the volume control the internet and the access of the characters of the uh, languages the internet at the same time is wired the notification and of course the theming and time and of course this one is a little bit f uh, which is for the windows this is not what they see uh, the power button the suspension the lag out and the reboot systems something like that it's a little bit like it is not on a button on the Windows but on the Mac it's a little bit like okay like this so this is gonna be the mix uh, between the Windows and the Mac but it is on the upper uh, desktop uh, taskbar and the taskbar right here the, it has the indication of the unit of the Ubuntu desktop so which means it will constantly remind them that this is a Ubuntu 
Linux desktop. And the dock right here on the left side, we have the start menu button right like here. Uh, settings right there. So the trash is on the uh, start menu for the Windows, but in Linux Ubuntu Unity, it is the trash. So it's a little bit okay. Mm, we also still have the desktop icons right here. So yeah, the learning curve is already okay. It is not too much for the new user, newcomer to Linux, Ubuntu, Unity, and Bungie. So this is a little bit like easy for them. So anyway, uh, I think uh, I said it uh, already. The conclusion, my observation in two operating system, which is the Ubuntu Unity and the Ubuntu Bungie 23.10, which is the October of 2023 release. So I hope this will help you on this navigation of your operating system. I hope it will help you understand the two operating system or OS, Ubuntu Bungie 23.10 and the Ubuntu Unity 23.10. And what do you think uh, of this two distribution operating system? Is it okay? Which is the best for you to fit onto your needs? Let me know in the comments down below. This is absolutely for free. It comes with absolutely like to download the ISO and put it on the bootable USB and put it on the virtual box or just put it on the uh, USB and run it through your computer. So what do you think? Is this okay? Is it good? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have some question, feel free to ask me in the comments down below, of course. I hope this will help you into your Linux journey. I'm Blair, your science teacher. Bye for now. And remember that science means knowing. That is why science is cool. See you in the next episode. Ciao. Shut down. Shut down.